As part of my pitch for STF's Sveriges Svenskaste Jobb, I took a walk through Gothenburg, taking pictures, filming and recording in order to make a video report of the day. This is part two of that report. If part one focused on tourist sites from the bridge, part two has an historical flavour. Gothenburg was founded as a port and a fortress in the early 1600s, and the centre of the town still reflects that history. Standing in the sunlight, it's the opera house there, and just over there is the entrance to Östrahamngatan, which... Östrahamngatan, East Harbour Street, used to be a canal that connected to the river just here, and was blocked against unwelcome guests by a boom, the little boom, or lille boomen. But before I take you up there, I just want to show you a little of the Kvarnberget, originally the highest, most windy place inside the city walls, where the windmills stood that ground the corn for the city's bread. The streets are steep. These cobbles, they've been laid like this so that horses can get a grip, and there haven't been horses pulling carts up the hill here for a very long time, I should think, but the cobblestones are still here. And we're coming now down to Kronhuset, which is probably the oldest building left standing in Gothenburg. Sitting in the yard of the Crown House for a mid-morning cup of coffee, speculating on the history. It was um, used for many different purposes, uh, military in particular. Well, there's a band obviously on its way in here. We'll see what that has to show. Uh, how's that? Marching band from Borleng, eh? out of the blue. From the Crown House, let's just visit Gustav Adolf Square, which is the main square in the centre of the city, and which has a rather nice little map I want to show Gothenburg you. Gothenburg City was founded by Gustav Adolf. He's the statue up there, pointing down. And what he's pointing at is a map, actually, of the city in different coloured stone set into the paving of the square. I'm not going to be able to show you where we've just walked because there are chairs all over it. What you're looking at here is one of the flagstaffs in Gustav Adolf Square. It tells something about the history and economy of Gothenburg. Here you can see a merchant ship from the days of sail. Gothenburg's wealth was founded on trade with China and the East in the 1700s. Near the square is Brunn's Park, Park of the Well, the city well, which as you can see is a major interchange for public transport in the city. And if we continue to walk up here, the picture you have now is, is Copper Mara, Copper Mare. This is a Gothenburg joke. The horse is quite obviously a stallion, but it's a very common place to arrange to meet people here. Where we are now is Kungsportsplatzen, the square of the King's Gate. When the city was surrounded by walls, this was the principal land entrance to Gothenburg. The walls are gone now, but the moat remains. As you can see that it follows the contours of a fortified wall. It's a very pleasant place to sit on the edge of the, of the water and enjoy the sun. I'd invited any of my competitors for the job to meet me on my walk and this was where one of them caught up with me. Well, just a few minutes ago I was accosted by uh, Christina Svensson who is also uh, applying for this job. Uh, we're going to Spend a little time together in one another's company. We're going to go to Tredgårdsföreningen. And our conversation in Tredgårdsföreningen, the English park, which you can see over there, will be the subject of the third part of this video report.